I'm on Boy Pat Wood. I am the Greater Hartford Area Services Chaplain in Hartford, Connecticut. My relationship with God began when I was five years old, going to Sunday school in Salvation Army, and I heard about Jesus and how much he loved me and died on the cross. He gave everything for me. And I think that has really been the foundation for my um, wanting to give to him. That's been the foundation for my whole relationship with him my entire life. And as, a, as an adult, I came to understand that God has given me everything that I have and everything that I am. And so it's only fitting that I give him all of me. Um, William Booth said that God shall have all there is of William Booth, and I believed that God would have all there is of Pat Wood. There are often times when um, we go through those drought periods where we don't have abundance, and I think those are times when we think that, okay, I don't have anything to give to the Lord. But again, everything we have belongs to the Lord. And in, in Malachi, the Lord actually admonished the people for robbing him and not giving back to him. But um, it's in those times that we have little, that what little we have, we can give to the Lord and he can use that. There's so many stories in the Bible that talk about what God can do with a little bit if we give it to him. It's important for us to remember that God can do more with our lack of abundance than we can do more in our abundance. And also it's, it's important to remember that during those times, it's God that supplies all of our needs. He supplies everything um, and makes sure that we have everything that we need so we can trust him in those times. And I think about the, the widow um, and the oil and when she was asked what she had, she said, I have nothing except, and it's those except, she said, except a little bit of oil. And it was that that became useful in the hands of God. And so then in those times of plenty, what happens is that we are able to do more and we are able to, to recognize that we can trust God, that he's faithful and he's trustworthy. And it encourages our faith and it encourages us to tr be trustful and obedient with what we have or what we don't have.